What's going on guys? Lone Driver Mike again, bringing you another video. Guys, in this video, we're gonna talk about DoorDash pay details. So, um, I don't know if you know this already, but I've explained this in two other videos, how DoorDash pays the drivers now. Now, maybe two years or two years ago or longer, it used to be a flat $5 fee. So you'd get $5 per delivery plus tip. But like back then, a lot of customers wouldn't tip so you get a flat five dollars and there was no like guarantee minimum whatever so like in you know if you got if you ever got a DoorDash you always knew it was a five dollars no matter what the distance plus whatever the tip was but you didn't know what the tip was you know like you didn't know what the minimum was or how much for sure you would get and um, so yeah so so that's how it was back then but now, basically how it goes is a lot of people get so confused because, see, in the, as soon as they changed it, they were like, oh, you get $1 plus booze, plus time, plus tolls, plus wait time, plus traffic. They said all this bunch of crap, right? Actually, you only get $1. So let me, let me explain that because I did explain it in two other videos, but people still didn't believe me. They're like, you're lying, Mike they don't pay us one dollar they pay us this and we never get tips and I'm like if you don't get tips why I mean they don't break it down by order anymore well now they do but but I'm saying before he would be like well, well you know why why doesn't it explain the tips I'm like it does it says a uh, delivery pay and it says all your money and it says tips it says all your money they don't break it down by order but now they do so now if you end your dash or if what every time you drop off an order it'll say details and it'll say like the minimum and all this kind of stuff so let me just break it down just very simple so like like I said after those after they changed it it used to be a flat five dollars plus tip now they change it to where it's like they said oh it's a dollar plus this and that it's always a pretty much a dollar unless the tip is low so I, I actually explained that in another video. I had two other videos, they're pretty popular, but they got a lot of thumbs down because um, I couldn't prove what I was saying because there's no, there was no proof of showing that DoorDash only paid a dollar. And I explained that there was a way to do it if you would manually do it. Like if you were to start your shift uh, Monday, right? You would have to end your dash after every order and then write down the totals and you would have to subtract and do the math on each one which is doable, but if you live in an area where it's not constantly red, you can't do that, because if you end your dash and all of a sudden it's gray, you can't get back on. Me, on the other hand, if you like live in California, um, Sacramento, Bay Area, even like Fresno, it's like always red, like it's always red. So I can get on, start my dash, do two orders or even one order in my dash, and I can get right back on as soon as I end my dash because it's still red. As long as your area is still red, then you can get orders. You can get right back on. You don't have to schedule or anything like that. Now, certain areas, yeah, it's like, well, you have to schedule or you can't get on, you can't work. And that kind of sucks. I mean, I do feel bad for people like that, but I don't have to do that. It's constantly red. Um, every now in a great while, it'll it'll switch to gray but that's like very rare you know what I'm saying and plus I'm running other apps I got uh, DoorDash Caviar Uber Eats Grubhub so I have other apps that I'm running too so like I was saying once they change the pay from five dollars to only one dollar now they don't always pay one dollar let me explain it depends on the tip they go they see what the customer tipped so like let's say for example your minimum so every area, every city actually has a minimum for DoorDash. So in Sacramento, it's $6 guaranteed always. Doesn't matter how big, how small the order is, it's always $6. Doesn't matter how many miles you drive, it's always $6 is the bare minimum. Like they will, they have to pay you $6 because they updated everything, right? And that's how it is. And they show you, okay, guaranteed $6, right? So, okay. We got the six dollars down, right? Okay, so it's a minimum six dollars. So if say you get an order, it says six dollar payout, right? Um, but it doesn't explain the tips or like anything like that until the end. Now, once you end the dash, 
or once you drop off the order, it'll have pay, pay details. Now, if you don't see that to where it breaks it down, you press a little arrow and it, and it, and it says that it breaks it down, like delivery pay, the guarantee, plus the tip. It'll, it'll show you what the customer tips now. Um, so now you can actually see that. And if you're not seeing that, I would suggest you to update your Dasher app because everyone should have this now. So now you can actually see the tip, how much DoorDash is paying us. And so since my minimum is $6, right? They, DoorDash actually, they want us to get big tips. Do you know why? Because then they only have to pay $1. Now guys, I want you to start checking your details. I'm not lying about this. I haven't been lying about this before. I made two videos and I told you guys, depends on your minimum. Right, so like for say for example, minus six dollars, right? Minus six dollars. So for them to pay only one dollar, they're hoping and praying that the customer tips five dollars or more, right? Because remember, I told you it's six dollars minimum, that's the lowest they can pay, right? Do you understand what I'm saying now? So they want the customer because if the customer does not tip five dollars. They have to make up the difference because they guarantee you $6 minimum pay. Now, in some areas, like I said, it's $5. I, I talked to a friend. He said he was doing it in Dallas, Texas. He's seen as low as $4. That's crazy. I've never heard of that. Um, I don't think he would be lying to me about that. But I'm just like, wow, that's very low. I've heard of $5 minimum guaranteed pay in certain areas and cities and different states. But I've never heard of like $4 flat, like $4 and change. That's low, that's very low. I wouldn't even do DoorDash if it was that low. Like that's really low. I mean, you wanna average like $7 per order, maybe higher. Um, it's really up to you. Like I said, I work all day. I'm very picky with my orders. Sometimes I'll accept a low paying one. Sometimes I'll, I'll shoot for the high ones. But in the long run, doesn't matter what I accept or decline, I'm always hitting $200. So, you know, it's just, you go out, you, you put in the hours, and yeah, I mean, some areas, like I said, it's like not as busy. Like one of my friends is like, I have to accept every order, Mike, or I'm not just, I'm not gonna make any money. I'm not saying he's lying, but, you know, but I can't speak for that area. You know, I can't be like, well, you know, I'm sure he can decline some orders. I can't speak for that area. I can speak for Sacramento and at least for Northern California because I've worked in San Francisco, Napa, uh, San Jose, um, you know, some other areas. So I know how it is up here, you know what I'm saying? And it's very, very busy. Like you can literally decline whatever the hell you want to decline because it's just that busy and you don't have to schedule, you know, and over here, at least in Northern California, the minimum is $6. So like I was saying, if the customer tips at least has to be at least five dollars or more doordash according to what they the new pay structure they used to pay a fat flat five dollars right so if, if on average people are tipping five dollars or more um then you know it used to be the old pay used to be five dollars five dollars plus five dollar tip that'd be ten dollars but they changed it now because they, you know, they're getting a little bit more greedy. They want to collect more of the delivery fee and the money, and so that's just how it is. You know, I mean, I mean, with Grubhub, at least I'm getting three dollars and some change, almost four dollars per delivery. Um, at least that's something plus tip. You know, so Grubhub's a little bit better, and they tell you from the get-go, like this is your delivery fee, boom, three dollars plus mileage. You know, and then your tip, and they show you exactly how much the tip is, and they show you everything in the beginning, so you know exactly what you're getting into. Um, so yeah, so now with DoorDash, they show you the fees. They show you everything you get paid. Sorry, it's getting kind of dark now. But let me see if I can park, maybe turn on my light. So yeah, like I was saying, so now they show the details. So now you guys can go back and see, and see that I'm not lying. That I never lied in those two videos. I told you guys, if the tip is $5.00. Some areas is four. I mean, some area minimums are $5 guaranteed. That's the lowest they can pay you, right? So that means if the customer tips $4 or more, then DoorDash only pays a dollar. You know, it's simple math, you know what I'm saying? 
So like I said, in this area, like I was saying, if the customer tips $5 or more, DoorDash only gives us a dollar. That's the bare minimum, you know, because, you know, they don't want to pay a lot. They change the fee, they change the way they pay and everything. So it's been like that over two years now. When I first started, it used to be $5. So now they have the details. So now there's no confusion now. If you want to see the details, like I said, once you drop off the order, once you drop off the order, it'll show you the details. And now start checking that screenshot. How about this? You go back, I'll make a bet with you guys. Every order, $5 tip or more, guarantee you the pay that they're gonna only pay about a dollar. Now I've noticed if you use your red card or you have to order with the red card, they might pay you like maybe $2 and some change, a little bit extra, you know, because they say, oh, if you use your red card and this and that, you know, they pay you a little extra, but it's maybe an extra dollar or in some change. So you might make $2.50 for ordering at McDonald's or, or using your red card. You know, they just pay you a little bit more, just, just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So, but I'm telling you guys. If you're not using your red card at all, you just go in and pick it up without the red card, $5 tip or higher, DoorDash is paying us only $1. And I used to say, I used to praise DoorDash saying, oh, the pay's more fair now. And now that I'm thinking about it, it's not more fair because it used to be fi a flat $5 or higher. You know what I'm saying? And now they used, now with the app, the customer app, they changed the tip option to where now it's a percentage. 15%, 18%. I got I haven't ordered from DoorDash in a while. I don't, you know, have it. But it is percentage wise. The lowest is 15%. So that's why I tell you guys um, if you get a big ass order like 10 items or 20 items or 15 items, you you better believe it's at least $100 or more. You know, once you get into the uh, $150 range and the app will tell you guys, the app will actually tell you how many items and actually how much the food subtotal once you go to the subtotal it tells you if you see $150 you need to take it because I've been getting some good ass payouts um, 19 the other day $20 um, last week was 30 one was 30 one was $30 payout and then she tipped $20 cash but guess what all on all those big ass payouts if you look at the details now now they show you now they break it down so now you guys are gonna see that I was not lying about that. If you go back into your details, it'll break it down. How much did DoorDash pay? It's gonna say a dollar, guarantee you. Unless they did not tip, the customer was a cheap ass and didn't tip five dollars or more. You know what I'm saying? I guarantee you. So if the, but like I was saying, if um, if the customer tipped zero and your minimum's five or your minimum six, they, they are forced to tip, they are forced to give that five or six dollars out of their pocket. They have to pay the full six, five or six dollars, right? So the only way this is gonna really benefit us, us in a way is if the customers start tipping us cash. But you know that's not gonna happen. Many people don't tip cash. Like I'm lucky if I get one cash tip a day. Like that just does not happen. So, you know what I'm saying? What can we do about it? You know, I, there's, there's nothing we can really do about it unless we start making these little cards saying um, DoorDash takes the tip, blah, blah, blah. But people don't really care. People don't have cash on them. People don't really think about getting cash. And um, that's just that's just how it goes. So, I mean, I'm glad that they show the details now and everything. But if you go and check now, like I've been saying this for the last two years now, DoorDash only tips or DoorDash only pays $1 if the tip is about $5 or higher. So if they tip like $20, we get $1 from DoorDash. If they tip $5, we get one $1 pay from DoorDash. And that's how it's been for the last two years. And I've been telling you, I made two DoorDash videos explaining that. And I had so much negative feedback for saying, you're relying, you're relying, Mike, this and that. I said, you know, I know it doesn't show details, but it doesn't show details for a reason. Now they do. Now DoorDash is exposing themselves because they can see it's only $1 delivery pay if the tip is $5 or higher. And recently, all the customers are tipping me. I've been checking my details. Almost all the customers tip me on the app, usually $5 or higher. 
So you see what I'm talking about? I'm telling you guys. So guys, you know, I'm glad they show the details now and it breaks it down, but keep screenshot, screenshot all your orders and do the math. And you're going to see that a good chunk of your money is just simply customer tip. You know, and you're getting a dollar, maybe two dollars on this, or maybe three dollars. You know, you might average like two dollars per delivery, and you might take ten orders, and you're only getting twenty dollars from DoorDash, and then the rest of the money you're making like a hundred dollars in tips, you know, or eighty dollars in tips. You see what I'm talking about? So, I'm telling you guys, but I'm glad DoorDash updated that. But they seriously need to to pay a little bit more than a dollar. I mean, that's just not fair that they use the tip against us. I just don't think that's fair. I don't know about you guys, but anyways, comment below. Tell me what you guys think. Let me know if you're not seeing the details. You know, maybe you need to update your app. But um, yeah, guys, guys, I want your input. I want your advice on this because you know I'm glad there's an update now. It kind of breaks it down, shows everything. But like I was saying, if they tip five dollars or more, if the customer tips five dollars or more, if you go to uh, DoorDash Pay, it says one dollar. That's it. And I've been telling you guys this for two years. I made two videos on this. I got so many dislikes, and that really upsets me because you guys think I'm lying. I'm not. Now the proof is now the proof is there. So there are a lot of people that owe me an apology, but it's it's all good. I don't expect it, any apology from anyone. But anyways, guys, please comment comment below. Tell me what you guys think. And um, yeah, that's all I've got to say. That's all I've got to report on today, guys. Please like, comment, subscribe. And uh, if you can, share the video on Facebook. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. And that's all I've got to say. All right, guys. Peace out. See you.